And we're here with uh, Clan Leak Season 1, um, BSC versus Burn. It's actually the first uh, game, uh, we just flipped a coin, it's gonna be on the Burn system. It's a system with uh, one collision. Oh, and by the way, my friend Rico is here. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Robo was supposed to be uh, joining us, but it seems he's sleeping. We've been working on our mode the past couple of days and we haven't, haven't been sleeping, so um, I guess he needs a rest. Hopefully he'll join us for the second game. And it's taking forever for me to load. I need more RAM. I have 8 gigs and I think that for uh, Titans you need at least 12 to run it well. Okay, now I can see the system. It's the first time I've seen it. Oh wow. Getty Prime. What the fuck is this? Awesome. How did he do that? And then you have uh, Caladan is uh, pretty much a water planet, and Hesra is a uh, what is it? Is it a uh, another lots of water, lots of water? This uh, in this game it had a lot of pings going off on Hesra a moment ago. Okay, so they can choose to spawn between Hesra and Gaiety Prime. Uh, uh, what? Let me see. They have elliptical uh, orbits. That's why it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, there's supposed to be two collisions going on on this map. First one going off at 36 minutes. Okay, and uh, we got burn. Oh, they have a good call. They're correct all over this time. Okay, we have one burn guy on Gieti Prime, and nobody else. He's alone. And mega base <laughs> by BSC on Hestra. Why did they go for Hestra? If they're both haliable with two, this is a really interesting system. Okay, and most of the um, of the metal is on Caladan. And uh, they're going. Everybody's going to try to get there soon. Um, let's see. BSC has one naval, two vehicle factories, so they're going to push towards the other end quickly. And uh, Burn has one vehicle factory, so they, I guess they're going to lose. Except if uh, their naval helps. Or meanwhile, uh, on Getty Prime. The one uh, burn guy doesn't know he's alone, and uh, yeah, he's he's putting up um, defenses. This is a pelter uh, because he thinks he's gonna ha have a war on his hands, and he doesn't know that he is free to grab all this wonderful metal. Look at all this metal right next to his base. Is this? Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see. There's tons of metal here. It's a little battleground they've made. Oh, look, he's going T2 right away, bots. Uh, and he's really expecting BSC to contest the metal, but BSC doesn't give a crap. And the metal is all for the taking. <coughs> and now they know it. And now they know it, because they sent this guy. Who is this guy? This guy is... You can see how well I know the game. It's a kind of bot that I have never actually built in my 300 hours in the game. And uh, look at all this metal, Jesus! I hope BSC has a plan. Okay, their plan is really to push these guys off this planet. And the other guys, they know it, they're putting up, uh, the burnt guys are putting up a wall there. This really cool wall model, the new one. Looks like BSC is actually sending out their commanders. They're sending them out where? To Kaladin? Uh, right on Hes. What was that? Hesra, yeah. I'll ping it for you. Well, hitting up. Oh, the they're moving with the commanders. They're pushing in. That's great. That's great. So, some really cool tactics and strategies here from these two very experienced teams. So, the reason that I wanted to put these teams together is because BSC has basically been, you know, they won one clan war, they won two clan league matches, they've been pretty much unbeatable. And uh, PXS doesn't seem like, okay, we're seeing here the commanders are going in. And uh, it's a really close r close fight. Okay, uh, this commander, he is the uh, Shadow Demon, is already, I don't know, 80%, what is that? 77%. The other one is a 78. Um, we got a Pulter, Paltering them. Uh, they're putting up their own walls. A bit belatedly, they realize that it's gonna be a slugging fest, so... 
And uh, one commander is about to go pop. The uh, Reaver commander is about to go pop, and he might be saved. Some reinforcements are arriving from BSC. A T2 Beagle factory right behind. Um, I don't know what's going to happen here. I'm not experienced enough to be able to tell just by looking at it. I think long term, uh, Burn is going to be pushed off, but the po the question is for how long? Okay, this commander made it. So the Reaver commander made it for now. And uh, the, the attack has been pushed back. The, 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 you know, the attack is over. Uh, and what is uh, Burn doing? Burn, uh, they're not... Okay, they have a one vehicle factory, one bot factory. They, they're putting up a teleporter, so they're hoping to get in reinforcements. Um, in the water, meanwhile... Um, yeah, in the water, I have no idea what's going on. Well, um, BSC is going T2 in the water, but it's going to take a while. Actually, yeah, it's going to take a while. Do they have the eco? Um, sort of. This, yeah, they do. Meanwhile, I want to see on Gaty Prime how fast uh, burn this burn guy is uh, expanding. And uh, now that he knows, okay, now he's making boom boats ready to go. To snipe those commanders. Yeah, of course, of course. It makes sense. It makes sense to snipe those commanders, especially the one that's already almost dead. Uh, and we're six minutes in with Clan League Season 1, a really cool game between... Okay, the Boombots are going through. Um, and they're through. And they're through. And um, BSC doesn't know what's coming. They don't know what's coming. And... Um, well, they do have um, some uh, Infernos next to the commander. Oh, and there's a bunch of tanks going there. So those tanks are going to take care of the, uh, the Boombots, maybe. Maybe um, if Burn doesn't take care because they don't have many boom boats. They don't have. There's more coming in through the portal, but and then we have a, some T2 boats there. Okay, they're moving. They're moving, and uh, oops, now they're moving back. Wise oh, move, I guess. Oh, and they're moving forward again. You can see some really cool microing from these guys. Like if we were playing this game by now, it would have been so okay. And they're going, and they're going for the uh, Pelter first. If that was. That's what that was. I think it was. And uh, I think BSC has seen the boombots now. So um, they know what's happening. They're moving the dude, the dude back. And oops. Oh, no no boombots made it through. And now there's a big reinforcement force here. Um, I wish I had me out. I knew how to use the free moving camera. Next time. And he's going back. He's just going back with this commander. And... Um, Look, there's almost no units left from Burn, and yet they're still holding on with their commander. Oh no, there are some units. Yeah, I get uh, confused when I don't see the uh, strategic icons. When I zoom in too much, sometimes stuff is not visible. Anything else going on in the system, uh, Rico? Anybody on Kaladin? Um, yeah, BSC no. has arrived. Yeah, BSC is there. And only BSC. Let's see uh, the solar system. Burn isn't sending anything there. They are not sending anything. I think maybe they're going f to win it quickly. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. They will not be able to smash G GID Prime because that's where their eco is coming from. They have some T2 eco now. Um, one Max T2, one P-Gen, two P-Gens. Um, and the Boomboy Factory. This is such a cool looking planet. 20 hours of work. Uh, Elite says he puts into e each system, so it's worth it. Uh, but yeah, some somebody should be paying him for it, though. I mean, 20 hours of work—that's part-time job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the battle's been pretty gripping so far. It's just constant back and forth going on. And now we got a push from BSC. They get past the defenses, uh, Burns defenses. They're going for uh, the T1 factory and the teleporter. And the commanders, the burn commanders, I think they're going to try to go through the teleporter because they have no... At least at least the weak one is going to go through. I don't think... I don't, I'm not sure if the... Yeah, the other one's uh, going to go through too. Like like so that's a retreat um, from burn for on Hesra. And uh, they're still playing in the water, but it doesn't look good for them. It does, they're, ge they're getting torpedoed. Is that a torpedo launcher? Yes. And they're yeah, going to they be... Yeah, they got the kaiju in there, so... Oh yeah, the kaiju, of course. That's that's like the top unit. You build a kaiju, you win the game. <laughs> Except if, if if it's us. If it's us, you can build a hundred of them and you still lose. Okay, and the teleport is going down. 
Um, some submarines there. Okay, let me see what's going on on Caladan. Uh, on Caladan, we see BSC next to the teleporter there. They have an air factory to Stay grab the metal. Uncontested. uncontested, huh? Okay. Yep. And, uh, okay, burn just pinged on the other side, precisely the other side of uh, Callahan, Caladan from uh, BSC. So they're going there, but it's taking them a while. It's, it's, a, it's a sizable planet, though. How big? Can I see the uh, stats somewhere? No, I can't. Uh, top right screw. Might see stats planet. Uh, no, it says only the metal. It doesn't say the radius. I'd like to see the radius. Damn. Giddy Prime uh, is looking good. <laughs> they um and uh, Burn has a really good economy going on there. They have a uh, bunch of T2 metal and pigeons. I kind of like how the metal here. It's not as uh, it's symmetrical, but you know what? It still looks cool for some reason. Like you have to, y the symmetry doesn't jump out at you. Like it does in some stupid maps. And what I also like is that, look, it is symmetrical, but this, uh, they have put platforms which are man-made objects. So it's okay for man-made objects to be symmetrical. What's not okay is for freaking mountains, the mountains to be symmetrical. That's what looks autistic, you know? So um, here, the Elite has put platforms, which is fine if they're... Uh, he has put platforms and the metal is symmetrical, uh, which is, you know, it's also cool on this particular planet. and. You know, when it looks so good, I can get with it. And I mean, even the other platforms on the other side of the planet are symmetrical. So are symmetrical. Anyway, enough with my um, waxing about pla about uh, pl planets. Um, <coughs> okay, Burn is completely wiped out of this planet. Well, okay, there's one ship there. And uh, so, one clan has one planet, smashable. The other one has the other, smashable. And the battlefield now has moved to Caladan. And Burn is there with just a teleporter and boom boats. I think that uh, BSC should have been faster with some bombers. And uh, if they have been faster, just a couple of scout planes and some bombers and they might have d destroyed the teleporter. But, I mean, as far as we're concerned, it's better that it's, it's working out this way because we're going to see a, you know, a longer battle. So Rickle, what do you who do you think is gonna win? No, oh, sorry, uh, you cut off there. Oh, uh, who do you think is gonna win? Um, looking at BSC, just because they have both, they have two planets, one that they could Haley and well, one they one, could just one and a half. Have all the commanders, yeah. One and a half, yeah, you're right, you're right. So they can smash uh, has uh, JD Prime, and they can still have a decent economy. Okay, what else is going on? Uh, they got a play coming from Burn over here. They're putting up a Haley. Yep, yep. It's just a shame to see this planet with all this T2 metal, man. Go. <laughs> I guess, you know what? They just want it ready to fire. I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure they're not. They just want... As, as long as they have the economy, let's just see. Well, okay, they're... they're they have twice the metal, but half the energy. So, uh, but yeah, they have twice the metal. So basically, they have twice the economy because they don't need the energy right now. The game is just now moving orbital. So that right now is when they're gonna have to need more energy. Um, yeah, looks like Burns got a foothold in Caladan. They should be making all their energy on Caladan from now on. At least the energy on Caladan, because uh, the metal, there's not much they can do about it, but. And are they doing it? No, they're not doing it. There's no energy in Caladan yet. But in any case, they, they're floating energy, so it doesn't matter to them right now. Yep. Uh, a big right up my ping, we yep. got an invasion. Some T2 air there, some Phoenixes. They're moving cautiously. Just one bomber. Just to, see how cool that is? Just one bomber in case they find something to destroy it. It's something unguarded, you know? And they did find yeah. a little bit of metal there, and uh, it's a significant T1 force. Look, look, uh, we were talking with Elite the other day that T1 uh, is not very useful in this balance. But that's not true. Look, T1 is being used. So, <coughs> you know, uh, there's no game that I've played uh, on an Insomnia event where T1 hasn't been useful. So I think the balance is good. Uh, maybe not all T1 units are useful, but uh, at least the T1 as, as, as a tech tier, it is useful quite far into the game. Look, it's 15 minutes and we're still playing with T1 armies. 
And even in Clan Wars, you know, after half an hour, T1 ar armies were still in place. So I think there's some changes needed to be done in balance. Anyway, I'm so, um, I went off on a tangent again. You, you guys are going to get used to that. I go off on tangents all the time. If you read my forum, uh, you'll see some huge threads and stuff like that. But I'll try to keep it... My attention on the game. Okay. So, okay, the force from... Uh, BSC, look how cautious they are. It's moving back, the Air Force at least, because it figured out we cannot do any damage. Don't throw it away. And now there's uh, a push from uh, Burn with boom boats and uh, some slammers and some anti air. There's quite a bit of anti air actually. They've seen the danger. Um, and BSC is trying to put up pelters. And they're getting taken down. They're oh, look at that. Oh, no. They're, they're pulling it back. Damn it. This is, this is pretty pretty exciting. Pretty exciting stuff. And uh, reinforcements. A teleporter from BSC. Okay, I'm going to quickly switch to the other planets. And, uh, yep. One purple planet and one black planet. And our battlefield. Well, at least burns just about halfway. At Haley, they could hold up on Caladan. They should be able to take this. Yeah, we could definitely not call the winner, man. Oh, and there's a Helios going up, and it's uh, what is it? Thirty percent? Thirty percent exactly. A Helios going up at BAC. I still do not know exactly what this thing does. It teleports stuff. Does it also shoot stuff? Yeah. It does some attacking uh, on the ground from the orbital there and to the ground, but it's not that much. It's not as powerful as the Omega. Dude, you should have seen the tear yesterday. The tear, it's it's indescribable. You have to <laughs> you have to play. It's it's, <laughs> it's like the Helios. It looks just as cool, if not cooler, and they complement each other so well. The tear goes forward, like laying the waste to everything, and the Helios comes back behind teleporting units. If you can make an invasion with that stuff. It just looks glorious. Glorious. Okay. Uh, for those of our viewers who don't know, I was talking about the tier, uh, the uh, the Legion unit. And uh, what else is going on here, man? Uh, right now, we're just waiting for units to pop out here. Uh, those orbital units are going to take a while uh, from BSC. Burn is moving into the water, but uh, it doesn't look like they're gonna make it. Um, well, BSC has the water, and they have uh, s some bombers. Who has the air superiority right now? BSC, huh? But slim margin. Yeah, very slim. No. It's gonna be all about the micro here. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be all about the micro, and uh, we're, we're glad we have such good mo teams in micro. We're gonna see their. Uh, the skills there. So BSC has flagged Burns single naval factory. <laughs> and <coughs> they're trying to take it down. You know what? The BSC guys are better than Micro because they're top 10. Two of them are top 10 Uber. Whereas um, only one uh, Burn player is Uber. And I'm not even sure he's top 10. Yeah, they just played that Air Force and Caladan really well. Now they're pushing in with their ground units. Yep, yep. And uh, those are mostly uh, T2 now. T2 with some T1 anti-air that's been destroyed. They're being held by a couple of anchors. Uh, Burns defenses are being held by a couple of anchors. Wait, is this planet uh, symmetrical too? I think it is, isn't it? Or no? Yeah. Wait, yeah it is. Kind of like it, yeah. Uh, y you know, well, look, it's a, it's a league game, they can do whatever they want, and at least, uh, as far as that goes, at least symmetry is the best symmetry I've seen. He does it with good taste, so I have I have no complaints. In any case, it's his system, he can do whatever the hell, hell he wants. <laughs> Burns I mean, holding on here. Oh, uh, They Burn might get that Haley up before they get orbital forces. But dude, look, BSC. look, they get the Haley up, and then what happens? Uh, BSC has <laughs> more uh, eco on this planet on the Kaladan, so they're gonna lose. True. Yeah, but 
overall they'll have they'll have more eco once they blow up uh was a like giddy prime you think they will have more more eco than b s c uh just cause they just cause they own uh Oh, that's right. That's right. It's gonna OB. get destroyed. It's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot. About yeah, the that. only thing that's gonna be left, if anything gets helied, the only thing that's gonna be left is Galadin. Uh, they got the Helios up here. You know what I would try to do? That will be such a sneaky play. You smash Kaladin, and <laughs> at the at the last moment, if there is no uh, BSC commander, is there any BSC commander in uh, Hystra? You can put your command. No, there is. There is. There is. No, no, there is. There is. Uh, but they split them up. And they, they got the Haley, Haley online. They have their heli, yeah. Where? Yeah. Up, uh, up on Burns Planet. Oh, on JD Prime. Okay, so uh, BSC is not even considering uh, smashing, which is wrong. They should be smashing. BSC is the ones who should be smashing. They should be smashing now that they have the upper hand. Well, okay, there's a lot of metal that uh, BSC has left on the table. Even near their base. Oh, look. Their base has some destroyed buildings. Why? How did this get destroyed? We missed that. Look at BSC's base on Kaladan. There's a destroyed um, yeah. T2 air and, is it, yeah, and the other one is T2 vehicle. How did those get uh, smashed? Totally missed that. Might have been from the orbital. You think so? We could check the chrono. Okay, there's a Titan coming up in the water, but that's not a water. That's an Aries. So the Aries can go in the water? It's a hover? I guess it's a hover, huh? And uh, what else is going on? Okay, we got a big invasion force on orbital from, uh, from BSC here. They've got those Artemis laser platform thingies, um, and they got a bunch of Avengers, and they're moving fast. This is where um, some Blue Hawks would have helped on the part of Burn. But I mean, let's see what all these units are gonna do. They're gonna try to. Uh, okay, there's a bunch of Avengers there from uh, Burn too, but I think there's fewer. There's fewer of them. Yeah. Okay, I see what's happening. The Artemis, now I'm figuring this out. Artemis is good against Anchors, but you need to protect it from Avengers. Yeah. So that's how the Yeah, goes. that's good range. Yeah, they outrange the Anchors, but you need to protect them from Avengers. And that's exactly what BC is doing right now. They're just going around the base, the Burn base. Meanwhile, uh, Burn has a uh, orbital, um, the Omega, the orbital battleship coming up, uh, but it's taking time. It's going to take some time. Those things take forever. And uh, they're going for the orbital factory. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get all the fabers there. It's good. It's a bloodbath. Belatedly, the burn uh, Avengers are moving, but they don't seem too aggressive. They seem scared to go near. Or maybe they're going for the undefended laser pl uh, Artemis units there. Now let's zoom in on this uh, orbital battle. Yeah, you see the lasers flying. Um, Look at all this mi micro. The BSC is pulling back the Artemis. Yeah, they they totally destroyed Burn. Burn has no Avengers now. So I guess it's time for um, BSC to. Okay, now uh, Burn has a huge air force. Um, I think they have a s air superiority now. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely, they're definitely giving a good fight to BSC. BSC is pouring some more units now, but they're T1 units from Hestra. And um, what else is going on? The Titan is moving in. Uh, it got some damage. I don't know how it got the damage. Uh, we didn't see that. And uh, the BSC Titan, maybe can it turn things around? It's uh, shelling things from f huge distance. Jesus, that's oh, and there's another another orbital war. Um, well, it's it's just more uh, more attacks from there. They're gonna take down that orbital factory. Um, Jesus Christ! Okay, BSC has the orbital layer. Burn has the air layer. 
the ground layer is, I would say, burnt because I don't see that many units from BSC left. Although the, all, all, they, all they have is T2, and the naval is BSC's. Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, <laughs> B, BSC's economy is uh, is not looking good, but uh, the, their metal is not looking very good. They have more. Oh, metal. a nuke goes <laughs> off in BSC base. It just went off? Oh yeah, it went off. Yeah, uh, Burn just fired a, a nuke. Where was it launched from? Nearly missed the commander. Yep, the commander's almost dead. Um, it had to have been from... Uh, I don't see any nukes. Oh, you we're seeing an air yeah, battle. I, uh, I see some nukes on uh, on their planet on Gidi Prime. BSC Titan is going. It's, it's being attacked from the Burn Air Force. Uh, BSC Air Force is trying to get to counter that Air Force, but Burn is now has the upper hand on the air apparently, and it's closer to closer to their base. So they have uh, some some uh, ground got units. Defenders advantage over here. Burn's doing a very good job picking at BSC. I wonder when they're gonna do that planet smash. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Let's see what they have. The second heli up. No, we have one heli up. Except, oops. There's a oh, there's a um, a nuke went on G80 Prime, and it got a commander, didn't it? I think they got a uh, oops. There's an orbital invasion from BSC on G80 Prime. That was not expected. Oh, the that's where the Helios was going. So the Helios is on one side, and it's uh, it's firing. Oh, it's firing units. Yeah, it's teleporting units right into the uh, burn. Eco, right into the burn eco, and uh, right into the heli. Ooh, um, Helios went down real quick. Yeah, those units by uh, BSC, they're not gonna last because burn has defenses. He has all these, uh, I don't know what the fuck they are. Bur uh, <laughs> what are they? Uh, catapults. No, oh, yeah, catapults. Yeah, the units are done. Some tier two tanks over there. Okay, well, at least on the other side of the planet, BSC has their two orbital battleships and they have some anchors going up. Oops, there's another uh, nuke going off from uh, Burn. It's gonna try to take out all that stuff in orbit. Does it shoot orbit there or the nuke? I think it does, huh? Yep, all that stuff is gone. Game over. Good try, guys, but no cigar. Definitely not expected. I was just expecting them to slug it out on their on the middle planet and uh, hold on to their own planets. So that was a lot of metal wasted from um, BSC. Not for much advantage that I could see. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't destroy a lot of stuff. Burn stuff. They still are ahead in eco. BSC still is ahead in eco, although they're crashing their metal, building too much stuff. Stuff too frantically, and uh, now Burn is pushing out on the orbital layer. See, um, yeah. See, uh, because BSC sent a lot of orbital units to the assault on JD Prime, they don't now do not have the upper hand on orbital. So they've lost the air and the orbital layer on uh, the battleground planet Caladan. They've lost those. It's looking like this is going to be BSC's first defeat in the Clan League. We got a commander snipe right over here. Did it with a bunch of gunships. Uh, a BSC commander is gone, right? So, how many yeah, commanders does BSC have now? Just one? Uh, okay, I see one in the water here yeah, on Caladan. Got, got one on Caladan. And, uh, or, I mean, uh, Hestra. Hestra. Okay. And on, one on Caladan. I just saw one on Caladan in the water. Uh, so, yeah, they have to. He's quite exposed there, actually. Yeah. Looks like they're gonna go for a snipe and then a planet smash right after. I think they're looking for the commander. Are they are they doing the second? Uh, let me see if they're doing the second heli. I did not see a second heli going up. And we're 29 minutes in with uh, Clan League season one, BSC versus Burn. And uh, Elite was saying before the game that it could be an exciting game, but it would also end quickly. It's not ending quickly. It's actually, if you just look at game time, it's going longer than the Clan Wars than several of the clan wars because the, a couple of the clan wars ended at about 32 minutes uh, of course they took an hour and a half because of the sim speed so you know this is a uh, smaller game but uh, because the teams are so equally balanced it's lasting a long time
And now, uh, I don't know why, Burn now has some, uh, some solar panels, some GAD Prime. Anyway, let's go back to Kaladin. What's happening there? Um, yeah, Burns are a dominating Air Force. They, they're gonna find the commander now. They're gonna find the commander. If they haven't found it already. Yep, they found it. And, uh, what are they doing there? Yeah, they're bombing him. They're bombing him and he's gonna go, I think. No? Maybe not. He's not no, gonna go, but I, I think he was full health that. before and now he's like, what is that, yeah. uh, 40%? And there's a lot of bombers coming into view now. It's, it's all a bomber force with just a few phoenixes in there. And um, BSC is frantically building uh, air factories, but it's not happening for them. The commander is moving right in the middle of his defenses there. He's got a bunch of T1 anti-air. And uh, he's putting up a flak and an umbrella. He's getting... He's, he's holding up. Oh, and an Ares. Is that an Ares? A Zeus. Yeah, I, I get them mixed up. Zeus is coming up uh, from uh, BSC, he's ready there to attack the Air Force, I guess. Uh, and uh, we got a brand... is that a brand new the Iris? Or is it the Iris that was... Um, that was um, fixed? That Looks was brand new. Let's look at the scratch. Does he have any scratches on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it's battling it out! Iris versus Zeus! <laughs> And, uh, well, the, uh, the, um, Aris is losing because it's, it, this is getting support from the air. And, uh, this, uh, it's, it's looking trying to for take the commander. Out that command. Yep, yep. And, uh, there's a ship support coming in from Burn because Burn has actually managed to finally grab a foothold in the sea. So, uh, I'm gonna call it for Burn this game. Uh, it's it's been obvious for a little bit. It will be a huge reversal if BSC actually tries to win and uh, manages to win this game. Uh, we got laser platforms coming in from uh, BSC uh, from the air. They're just uh, yeah that that commander's gonna go and he's gone, he's gone. And now we got a big orbital battle happening right over that base. Huge um, Avenger force from uh, BSC shooting at those Artemis that are uh, pulling out as far as they can from burn and um, the Zeus is uh, charging in as well into the fray but look at all these units they are massed from uh, ground units massed from burn look at all of them <laughs> they have a ton of anti-air and I guess the anti-air must hit the Zeus right yeah oh, oh but the Zeus is zapping them so it's zapping them good maybe it has more range than them and tons of scouts. What kind of scouts are these from uh, Burn? Uh, they're the ground scouts, the uh, little the skitters. Is that the skitters? I think. Yeah. Yep. Never use those. Maybe we should. Okay. Um, and the Zeus is pulling back from BSC. Um, anything else going on? Yep. Some raids here on the BSC's metal. Let's look at the eco. Yeah. Now, now finally, Burn is ahead in eco. Uh, on metal, so I think they should be putting up uh, the Halley, the second Halley. And look at that Air Force, they're dominating now. Yep, it's game for BSC, man. It's game. Yeah. Isn't there a force collision at 36 minutes? I think that'll happen before. Which which uh, planet was gonna get uh, collide? With which, I guess. Uh, oh, JD uh, Prime and Hesra, I think. So it's gonna happen anyway. Like, they don't even have to tally the planets. <laughs> I think that's what they were waiting for. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. What's the point? And they built that first heli just, just in case they win it, could win it faster. Oh, the second heli is going up now anyway. It's going up. It's almost oh, done. there it goes. I guess you're going to try and beat the buzzer. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It looks cooler if you smash your planet on somebody else than if it smashes on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, in any case, the game is still not lost for BSC. They're still in the game. Um, they just do not have... I don't see the ground forces. I do not see... And they're going to lose all the water forces too now. Jesus, how did that happen? I guess the I way it happened was just a series of better uh, tactical decisions from uh, from Burn. Yeah. That's how it happened. They had a lot of sneaky nukes from the look of it. Sneaky nukes and just... Um, 
even though at some point they were beat in the air layer and the orbital layer, they still... And there was that um, misfired attempt to invade G GAD Prime from uh, BSC. They lost quite a few orbital uh, material there. I mean, they lost a freaking Helios. Two orbital battleships. Uh, in any case, uh, uh, BSC is moving on orbital now. Uh, they, they, they have a lot of orbital. I don't know what they're going to do with it. And they're quite secure in the orbital layer. They're quite secure. But look at the eco. They have 600 less metal. Like, I think they have two thirds the metal of burn. Energy doesn't matter. It's only, it's, you know, everybody's floating energy at this point. Uh, we just want to see what will happen when the other two planets go. And the Haley's off. Okay, the planet's moving. JD Prime is moving. And it's looking good. I like the way it looks. The lava planet. Let's look at the uh, solar system. The oh, and there's a nuke going off from Burn. Where is it going? Uh, I don't even know which planet is orbiting which at this point. Oh, just saw the nuke go off. Right on my ping. Okay, that was a burn uh, nuke, right? Yep. They have the metal, so I guess they can keep nuking stuff. And since the nukes go orbital, um, they can just destroy... Uh, the only foothold that, at this point, uh, BSC has is on the orbital layers, and they've lost the game. They've lost this epic, epic game. Oops, oh, there's a collision. The collision. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I missed it, because that's how good of a uh, live caster I am. <laughs> <laughs> and BSC is out. Wait, it's out. But their units are still moving like uh, the, the, the units are burnt. Yeah, that was a, that was such a good game. Oh yeah, that was that was a beautiful game from Burn. Just controlling it the whole match. Well, I, I, to be honest, you know, we sometimes we were worried about them, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It was a very good deception from them. Which one are you talking about? Uh, from Burn. Just, just, we kind of had BSC, uh, giving them a little bit of confidence. And then just turning it around. For me, I don't think they gave them any confidence. I think that Burn themselves were scared at some point. Uh, because, uh, you, you know, uh, Burn arrived late on Kaladan. They arrived late and uh, Burn had the eco advantage for most of the game. They had uh, they had most of Kaladin for most of the game, and then uh, Burn steadily pushed them back with better tactical decisions. So I, I think for strategy, both uh, there wasn't that much strategy to be made in this game because um, it's a small system. So okay, they uh, you know they chose their planets. One went chose to go on JD Prime, the other chose to grab uh, Hestra, and uh, they both succeeded. And I think you know that was uh, that was a lead plan designing the system. To have the battleground be Caladan, but uh, I was just surprised that remember we were saying that BSC has better tactical players because they're you know higher up. Yeah. On the, but one v one tactics is not the same thing uh, as uh, you know three v three tactics. So uh, there, there's a lot of crossover, but uh, you know it there's also there's a lot of coordination. A lot of trick to do. Yeah, coordination. Yeah. And anyway, the BSC guys are greater coordination, but uh, you know. They were outplayed by Burn in this game, and we can't wait to see what's going to happen in the other one because the other, the next system is designed by BSC. It's made specifically for their one v one skills or the you know uh, for the tactical game because there's not much uh, strategy to be. Uh, it's just a two-planet system, and it's a tiny system. So I predict that uh, Burn will lose there. What do you think? Yeah, considering how Burn played their own home planet. I think BSC is going to take it. Okay, and uh, we are uh, we're going to shut down this uh, this game now and we're going to start a new lobby um, in a couple of minutes. So see you guys in a couple of minutes. <laughs>